All right, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, I am in the process of putting a Tesla electric motor into this silver 911. I bought it with a bad engine, and instead of replacing it with a gas engine, I have decided to do the Tesla swap. This is the sixth video in this series, so if you're curious to see how it started, check out the previous ones. Well, welcome back to my friend's garage. It is still standing. It did not burn down. Thank goodness. All right, this might be the last time I see the silver car. We got a fire burning here. I'm gonna pull the black car out, take it to Boulder, the silver car. Hopefully you guys survive. Hopefully this house survives. Hopefully everyone's safe. This is so crazy. Look at that. It's really not far. It's about a quarter mile from here, the fire right now. I did have some friends that lost their houses. Not, not a good time for a lot of folks. Not an easy time. Um, and uh, yeah, this, this garage is still here. These cars are still here. There it is. So I guess the uh, Tesla project goes on. Okie dokie, I'm moving slow today. Um, I'm gonna try to be making a foam model. I got a bunch of this like house insulation foam here. It's like a half, half inch thick. And I'm gonna try and make a model of this. So that I can, you know, move that around underneath the car and see what, how much room there is and, and, and all that, what I need to cut, if I need to cut the rear seats. Well, not if, but how much. So and I'm gonna start on that. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Remember when I said I was moving a little slow? Okie dokie, I'm moving slow today. That was about two days before I tested positive for COVID, which uh, knocked me out for about eight days. All right, so back to my project. I am uh, starting to cut the foam here so I can build the model of the drive unit. And I've heard that you can order CAD models of these things if you have the 3D CAD file. Um, but, you know, it actually only took about two or three hours to build the model. I know it won't be as exact, like for mounting points, as, you know, a 3D model. But to get me started, it'll be just fine. Obstructions here and here all these lines in here so these need to be rerouted i'm going to start removing these lines from right here and i'm going to take this loose as well so i can make room okay so you can see i've removed most of the lines I have just the power steering. This is the power steering and I just disconnected it down there. Yeah, so I'm just taking stuff apart here. I uh, hope I'm doing the right thing. I mean, there is no right way to do this. No one's ever done this as far as I know, so there's no guide to follow. So I'm just kind of like using some common sense and taking stuff off this thing to make room for other parts. And uh, you can see on this side, yeah, this is now, you know, because I've disconnected it over there, I can kind of pull this stuff out of the way because this is where the Tesla motor needs to go is in here. So move this out of the way. What else have I removed? There were three fuel, there were fuel lines, brake line I just put underneath here. So we're getting there. I had to cap the fuel really well because that's just smelled horrible. And uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with this, but I need to get out of the way. Going to the back, I was thinking about pulling this big hose out and like fully removing the power steering lines up there. But I think I'm going to leave them in for now because I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put the power steering pump. I may run in a, something in the front and then I can remove these lines. Also with cooling, I have cooling lines here 
Um, and I could possibly use those to cool the drive unit. Um, those run up to a radiator, I assume, in the front bumper. So I don't think I'll need the big coolant pipes, these ones. Here are the shift cables. There's someone interested in the transmission and everything and everything to convert to a manual. So I need to pull these out somehow. Here are the lines I've removed so far to make room for the Tesla drive unit. So now we can see how it fits again. Sliding this motor up in here. Now the obstacle is the rear seats. Okay. I need to cut the rear seats out, or some of them, or all of it. All right, so I've spent quite a bit of time researching the different battery packs from different cars that I could use in this project. And I've been leaning towards the Nissan Leaf because um, I don't want to use a really big battery pack. And I like how small and modular each module is so I could configure it um, really however I wanted. I'm only looking to go between 100 and 150 miles. So the 30 or the 40 kilowatt hour packs would be ideal. I keep showing pictures of wrecked Nissan Leafs because I think it would make the most sense to find one of those that's kind of like beyond repair but I could use the battery the battery management system and the charge controller from that car. The only thing I can't figure out is if the Nissan Leaf pack would be able to discharge its energy quick enough to supply all of the power that the Tesla drive unit requires to make full power. Most people I've talked to on the forum say, yeah, probably it could for about 10 seconds. I'm driving down to Copart today in South Denver to see about a Nissan Leaf that I might buy, maybe. It's it's a kind of a bummer because they didn't, sh there's not a picture about the battery life in the car, so it's hard to know what it's worth. Oh, I'm leaving Copart. I guess I'll just do a low bid on this car because there's no information on the battery, which is why I'm buying the car. I haven't had any luck yet finding a 30 or 40 kilowatt hour uh, wrecked Nissan Leaf. So if you have one, please reach out. All right, so if you saw my last video, I spent some time hanging out with Kevin Erickson, who has the EV swapped Plymouth satellite. And he was so helpful in teaching me about so much stuff that I don't know. Um, Rich Rebuild's YouTube channel just did a, a more in-depth video on his car so if you want to check that out um, check out Rich Rebuild's YouTube channel. We are channel. here with arguably one of the coolest vehicles I've seen yet. <laughs> Alright thanks for watching this update video. Um, some of the next steps will be cutting those rear seats out of the 911 and also getting the transmission stuff out um, so that the buyer can come pick that stuff up.